I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question on factorials and permutations. We in fact have two different questions here. The first one is, in how many ways can the letters of the word factor be arranged if the vowels must always be in the order in which they occur in the word itself? The second question is very much similar. It says, in how many ways can the letters of the word Canada be arranged if the consonants must always be in the order in which they occur in the word itself? So let's look into these uh, questions one by one. So we'll look into factor first. F A C T O R. So there are 12 letters there are one, two, three, four, five, six letters in this. So we have six letters. Six letters will give you how many combinations. So if I have six places to fill, three, four, five, six, I could fill the first one with any one of these six, then five, then four, three, two, one. And so we get six factorial ways. Now the restriction which is given to us is in how many ways can the letters of this word be arranged if vowels must always be in the order in which they occur. Vowels are A and O in this, right? So these are the two vowels. Now we want the order of vowels to be A followed by O, right? So that should be the order. Amongst all these six factorial ways, there could be half with OA order, right? And half with AO order. Perfect. Therefore, the number of ways in which we can arrange these letters is 6 factorial divided by 2, right? So we get our answer as 6 factorial divided by 2, right? You can always... Uh, use the calculator or just multiply them let's use the calculator to find the answer right so we get six times five times four times three times two divided by two and that gives you 360. so there are 360 ways in which we can arrange all these letters where a and o order is fixed okay now Let's look into the second example. Here, in how many ways can the letters of the word Canada be arranged if the consonants must always be in the same order? So let's rewrite the word Canada. We have C-A-N-A-D-A. -A -A. And when we are talking about consonants, vowels are A's, consonants are C, N and D. Right now, in this case, if we follow the method which we did earlier, well, A's are repeated. So, what we have here, here we have three A's. Since we have three A's, total number of ways are total number will be one, two, three, four, five, six, which is six factorial divided by three A's, that is three factorial. So, these are the total number of ways in which you can arrange Canada. But we want the ones in which C and D order is maintained, right? So we want C followed by N followed by D. We want the exactly same order in all these words. Now, how many words can you make with C and D? That is what you have to figure out. With C and D, you could make, you could have C first, n later followed by d then you can have n first so basically these will give you three factorial ways right only one of them will have c and d in the order which we have correct all will be same all these will be divided by three factorial so for same order what do we get so in this case our answer will be 6 factorial divided by 3 factorial. These are total number of words divided by 
the arrangements which you can make with C and D. We are interested only in one of these, right? Out of those six arrangements, C factorial six, we are arranged. We want only the one in which C and D comes in this order, right? We do not want N, C, D, and so on. That's what we mean. So the answer will be six factorial divided by three factorial divided by three factorial, right? Getting back to the previous one, we could have generalized the formula now. We can. These two letters, A and O, can be arranged in two factorial ways. So it was better to use two factorial here. Do you see that? So now you can generalize and write down solution of any question in which we have to maintain an order. Right? So this time, the answer will be 726 factorial divide by 6 times 6. Is it okay? So when you do that, what do you get? 36, when you divide this into 720, you get 20 as your answer. Do you get an idea, right? Now the question for you is, here's question 3 for you. In this first question, factor, I want you to maintain the order for the consonants. So number of words, number of words in which order of consonants remains same. Okay, so that is the question for you. Try that out and I hope it's not very difficult. Well, here is the answer. 6 factorial is the total number and how many consonants are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So that should be divided by 4 factorial, right? So that is how we can easily get our answer for similar questions. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to share my videos, subscribe to them. And if you like, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.